Hello guys and welcome in Meliodas Gaming in the last video in 2021. So in this year we have seen a lot of beautiful journeys, a lot of beautiful action and a lot of uh, challenges. And I really wanted to finish this year in style with a new video that it is going to be a life lesson in itself. Yes, it is a game with Vietnam today as I am going to start a game uh, in solo, but it's going to be only one video. I really wanted to share it with you in one single video to show you guys a very important lesson that you can apply it in Conflict of Nations World War 3 and you can also apply it in your real life about determination, about no uh, surrendering and about keeping it up to the last man standing and to the last chance in the life. So this is today I am starting with Vietnam. I made some national guards and my first enemy here is Thailand. I'm going to try to invade him so fast. This is a game that I was planning to play in solo, but you will keep watching in this video and you will see what is going to happen because a lot of things that are going to happen, a lot of unfortunate uh, news, a lot of unfortunate events that will happen to us in this uh, Vietnamese uh, campaign. But guys, just like this video, subscribe to Miliotas Gaming uh, YouTube channel and don't forget to join our Discord server as the link is in description and we can communicate there. So this is our first expansion here in Thailand. I am fighting some rogue state. Our units are advancing and the first one has been successful until this uh, stage. We are still safe. No one attacked us. No Philippine, no Indonesia and no um, Myanmar. So everything is going cool. Here is uh, the city. It's an AI. I am going to try to take it with, uh, destroy it with my Corvette and send my level one national guards to uh, take it down. You are asking why I made national guards because they are sheep and they are very fast to be built. You know that I am struggling with this, uh, uh, with to be honest, uh, with Vietnam because I have a very, very low, low uh, resources production. You can see that I only have 68 per hour components production. So having a navy is going to be a little bit tricky. So at this stage of the game, um, uh, Thailand is going to be done soon. But there is a huge coalition that has been formed around me, which is China, India, Russia, Japan and Kazakhstan. And I'm really uh, sensing the threat here as I started mobilizing my navies in front of their coastal cities to be able to make a naval blockade and be the first one to attack this coalition because if I am going to uh, keep playing solo and I want to win this game, I need to destroy the strongest coalition in this game. So I started making the uh, frigates because uh, I saw that India has a lot of uh, level 2 air bases as he's going to make some strike fighters or helicopters or something. So those frigates they are going to help me so you see here China has expanded Japan has took all of Korea China took Mongolia and India has been attacked by uh, Afghanistan but he destroyed Afghanistan and Pakistan and they are all um, active members you understand guys this is a very tough situation that I am in another bad thing that when I went to the to the city of China he have Navy there protecting his city so I am hoping here that he doesn't have destroyers but you can see in front of you that I have been directly attacked and it was quite a lot of damage so 100% that these ships are destroyers. To be honest this complicates the things as when I reopened the game I saw that China has destroyed my uh, naval units that I sent there some frigates and corvettes so he have destroyers and taking him down is going to be very hard. I'm going to send all of my land army here to the city of Hong Kong to be able to take it down. At least I'm going to show them that I have the upper hand. Looks like also Philippine, he is trying to destroy um, China. So I thought that it is going to be the perfect moment to be able to attack him and cooperate with Philippine to take him down. But to be honest, you, you can see here that India has expanded and took down Myanmar and he is so close to my homeland cities, which also makes things more and more complicated. So I made the research of the mobile, uh, uh, the tout artilleries to be able to have like an artillery uh, power there. So I couldn't make no mobile artillery or multiple launchers. So this is why I made some tout artilleries. Now I'm going to tell you some news. India has texted me and he asked, asked me to stop this assault 
and join us and join their coalition. You can read here the, the, the um, conversation, as he said, uh, send peace, we are going to send you peace and you can join us. Also, China has sent me also a message that he is asking for peace. I'm going to show you the conversation here. China said, we are about to throw Kazakhstan and you are going to take his place. Sorry for the last attack and he sent me peace. To be honest, I really assessed the situation that I really don't have chances here to win it. So they are going to attack me, all of them at once. So I accepted the peace. But what happened? They betrayed me. Before they accept, I already applied to their coalition and I opened the game and I found that they destroyed everything. Only one remaining province here. I only have one province. If that province is taken, I'm out of the game and I'm, I lose. You can see I only have one victory point here. Look at this coalition, what he did to me. They literally destroyed me. But I have some friends in this game. They were some followers and they really told me that they can help me because I posted on the news that this coalition have betrayed me and they are very bad. So in this case, I really had the compassion of the African coalition. They literally Chad and Ethiopia and Angola. They literally sent everything to India and they already took New Delhi, the capital. That's very good for me now. But I hope that this province does not fall because as soon as they take this province, I'm out of the game and I'm dead. So I still, I really uh, flee with some units. Uh, a stack of uh, frigates and some national guards, artilleries, etc. Because I sent them to an island to be able to destroy like Philip, but I saw that they destroyed me. So these units kept intact, they stayed intact. And now I am going for the campaign of restoring my nation. I'm going now to try my best. Uh, follow the strategy here to be able to take down my homeland cities once again. I'm not going to surrender, I'm not going to archive the game and just forget about it. I really want this coalition to die. They betrayed me, they need to die, they cannot win this game because they are going to make a very bad example in conflict of nations if these betraying guys, they win games. That's very bad. My first city has been restored. My second also, I'm going to build the arms industry here to be able to boost up my resource production because you see from the panel up above that everything is in minus, in red, because I lost everything. Now I'm going to struggle with the resources, yes, but I hope that I will be able to restore all of my cities. The good thing here that I have level four uh, frigates with a range of 75 and they are going to give me air cover. Also, I have this five level two tout artillery, so I don't have to establish contact with my national guards, the Taut artillery, they will do all the work on the land. But the good thing also that the Africans, they will keep India busy there as uh, they took down his capital. So he will be able, uh, he will stay busy there to restore his uh, lands. In this case, I'm going to use this window to be able to take down my cities, take them back for me. So this is what we are going to do. From one single province, will we be able to take down and take back our nation. Look here, guys. Also, China is in trouble. There is a coalition in Europe, in uh, Finland and Sweden, and they are attacking China. That's very good. Look at India. He has been destroyed. That's nice. Thank you, Africa. Thank you, Africa. I want really to salute these guys. Egypt, Chad, Kenya, Angola, and Ethiopia. I want to salute you for this amazing rescue. Thank you, guys. Now also China is in trouble. I took back my homeland cities. This is nice. Now I built one more frigate as I have some uh, components there, but now I have zero. So I cannot build more. I already have zero, but I can spare some supplies. That's nice thing. From those supplies, I can make some national guards. But yes, national guards, they consume uh, components as well. So that's a problem. I can't build anything yet until I uh, take back all of the component city in that region. So this game is going to be a story of uh, resistance, a story of determination. It's going to be a story never, never back down and never surrender. Even in real life, whenever you face problems, whenever you face uh, difficulties, never surrender. Just keep going, keep going and destroy everyone in your face. Any problem in front of you, just don't surrender and keep whining, keep crying in your bed. Just go there and take it back. And 
we don't have like a lot of chances in this life the chances that we are going to get in this life they are very little so we need to use them properly we need to use them perfectly to be able to be successful in this life so this is the lesson i want to give you guys the lesson of the year of 2021 because this is what happened to me in the real life i found a lot of problems a lot of difficulties but i overcame them and you can overcome them only by patience and hard working. That's the key here. You can see here that Vietnam is again an empire and now I am expanding in the Philippine lands and also now I am going to declare war on Japan, their fifth ally. Japan have lands there in Philippine. I'm going to take back those cities and I'm going to expand there and destroy them one by one here. Of course, I would never be able to do this without the help of the Africans when they attacked uh, India and also the Europeans. They really attacked China in a perfect time. Here, uh, we don't have a problem. So uh, the problem that the Europeans, as soon as they will take down all of China, they will come to me. They will attack me, of course, because they want to win the game. They are the first leading coalition, so they are not going to let me have more lands in this area. So. In this case, I'd like to take as much lands as possible before they come to me. Because, you know, I am struggling here with the resources, I'm struggling with everything, and this is what I was speaking about. Now it's the time that Sweden declared war on me. He's sending level 5 motorized infantry, air mobile infantry. Um, what else does he have? Like, we will, we will discover, but now it's the time that uh, the Vietnamese empire is going at war against the Europeans. Also, Iraq, his ally, has declared war on me. So these are coalition of Finland, Sweden, Iraq, and the United States of America. Uh, Sweden and Iraq has declared war on me. This is my expansion in the Japanese land. I just want to revenge against this coalition, to be honest. All I want to do here is to beat them and destroy them, and they do not win this game. That's all I want, to be honest. I don't care if the Europeans win this game, but as long as Vietnam is standing again on its feet from one single province, we took back our lands and we expanded to create another empire of Vietnam. That's what this lesson and this video is all about. It's about winning and it's about standing there like a mountain. We finished fifth, guys. We took some, some, some gold, that's nice. Look at Sweden, max level heavy bombers, stealth bombers and uh, air mobile infantry and stuff so now let's have a look what happened really in this game and who is the winner of this map yes vietnam has finished fifth that's nice we really i i really did not expect that i'm going to stay alive in this game the determination and the motivation has kept me and look at this Finland literally betrayed his own coalition by quitting his, exiting his coalition to get the solo win. This game is full of betrayals. This game is full of betrayals. Everyone is betraying another one. Like, this is, <laughs> this is incredible. I hate it. I hate it when someone exits his coalition for a solo win. So he just stole this win, this coalition win from his allies. This is... I, I don't know why people do this. I don't know why players do this. This is unbelievable. Like seriously, I don't, I don't understand why you tell me join my coalition and let's win together and later you attack me. Why you play all the game with the coalition and later you exit the game and that's it. Solo win. Thank you guys for watching this video and see you in another challenges. Bye bye and I appreciate your support.